What's up guys, Claw Vibrant here, and um, today I'm going to be bringing you another tutorial. Um, I stayed home from school again today because I'm still sick, so I got nothing better to do. So this is going to be a pretty interesting one. Um, in almost every montage now you see um, that people have motion tracked 3D text, and usually they do this with Buju and Cinema 4D um, so that they can um, do the most with the 3D text and customizing it the way they want and um, those are like professional motion tracking um, tools so it usually looks really good but if you don't have any of that uh, if you don't have Buju, if you don't have Cinema 4D I'm going to show you guys a way to do motion track 3D text um, completely in After Effects with no plugins, no anything so yeah let's get right into it um, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to make a text layer um, Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm like sniffling and stuff. By the way, I, um, like I said, I'm still sick. All right, so new text layer. Oops, no, I don't want you to do that. Make a new comp first. I'm dumb. All right, and just whatever you want to do for your text, I'm just gonna do track. All right, and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take this comp, rename it to. Um, original text I guess you could say just so you know which one it is and you're going to want to take that and drag it into a new comp um, for the second comp you're going to want to name this one um, front which will be the front of your text like the face of it and then duplicate that one and name that one I know this is a little confusing with a bunch of comps but there's only like one more step <laughs> and name this one sides because that'll be the sides, like the 3D part of your text. And then take both the front and the sides and drag those into a new comp. And then just like single composition, all that stuff is fine. And um, rename this one our 3D text. All right. And so this is going to be your final um, 3D text once you do everything. But what you're going to do is you're going to want to go under the 3D text composition and um, first things first you're going to want to make these 3D layers obviously because you're making 3D text um, and then you're going to want to pull up position on them um, a few of my other tutorials I dealt with um, working with expressions um, this is another cool thing you could do with them so alt click the position on the sides comp and you're just going to want to pick, pick whip that one to the front um, comp and you see it brings up this expression down here um, basically saying the position of the sides comp in relation to the position of the front comp. So there's two things you're going to want to do. First thing you're going to want to do is at the end of the expression um, you're going to want to do plus and then bracket oops what? Uh, okay I'm confused Oh, uh, whatever, it's fine. Alright, so then uh, do plus 0, 0, 1. So 0 for the um, x axis, 0 for the y axis, and 1 for the z axis. Um, and when you're working in 3D space, the plus actually means go back, like further away from you. And I know it's kind of confusing because you think it should be negative, but that's just the way it is. So plus zero, zero, and then one on the z-axis. So you're saying that you want the sides layer to be one pixel behind the front layer. And then the other thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to change this to index minus one. So basically what this is doing, like I said, plus is away from you and minus is towards you, so it's going to look at the layer in front of it. So um, as of right now, it's not going to do anything because you only have one sides layer. But once you start duplicating it, just do Control D. You see it goes to two, and then three, and then so basically you're just adding a bunch of side layers that are all um, gonna be looking at the layer in front of them and being one pixel behind them. I guess if that makes sense, I'm kind of bad at explaining that. But just duplicate that until you have the depth that you want. I usually do like 40. I don't know. I think that looks good. I'm gonna do 44 because four is my favorite number. All right. So now that you have all these sides layers, if you uh, add a camera, and you could just leave all the settings the same, enable depth of field, 50 millimeter, 
and then if you take the camera tool and you rotate the text you'll see that it's 3D now um, and it's kinda I mean right now it doesn't look that good sorry my computer is really slow um, but I mean right now it's all just one big block and you can't really tell so I'm gonna show you guys how to get a little bit of lighting on there and make it look a little bit more realistic so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to first go over to the front comp um, and you're gonna want to add a simple choker you can just look that up in the effects presets tab and um, what this does is it basically just allows um, allows you to uh, see through I mean it just kinda like pulls the edges as you can see back of the um, front layer so you can see more of the sides showing through so once you go back over to our 3D text you'll be able to see um, that uh, want to zoom in a little bit that the front layer kind of chokes back a little bit so you can see I mean you can't really tell with the white but anyways alright so you're going to want to come over to your sides tab sorry your sides comp and um, add a bevel alpha and now you can do whatever light color you want um, I'm just going to leave it like that because um, once you go to here you'll be able to see it gives it like kind of like a gray ish um, a grayish 3D thingamajig um, a grayish sides um, so you can mess around with that and do whatever you want but for time's sake I'm just gonna leave it like it is <coughs> I may just um, bring the light intensity up a little bit alright so that looks pretty good as you can tell it looks 3D it looks pretty good to me. And then you're just going to want to angle it how you're going to want it to show up in your comp. So I'm going to want it kind of like angled with his body a little bit towards the screen. So that looks about good. So what you're going to do is just select all the layers and go to Layer Precompose and move all attributes to the new composition. And now you have this layer, this 3D text object. Um, I just left it white and gray. I mean, like I said, you can mess around with it and um, whatever is your preference. All right, so go back here and uh, then you're just going to want to drag your 3D text um, that we just made into the whatever comp you want to uh, motion track. And um, what you want to do first of all, you're going to make a new layer, um, a new null object, um, and name this tracker. And this is what we're going to um, eventually um, pick up our text to so that it follows. Um, where the tracker, where the null object goes. Um, so what you want to do is you're going to want to go over here to your tracker controls, and if you don't see those, um, just go to Window and um, Tracker, and um, select uh, your footage that you want to motion track, and go ahead and hit Track Motion, and it's going to bring up this uh, little tracker point. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move that to a point where there's clearly a difference in color, um, like right here, obviously, like the difference between black and the background is pretty clear and throughout the whole comp no matter where this goes it's still darker than the rest of the background so you're gonna want to pick a spot like that just so After Effects can clearly discern um, you know what you know what you're trying to track um, if if your cinematic is anything like mine and you're kinda going towards or away from something and the scale of the whole um, scene is changing you're gonna wanna select scale too and um, that way when you motion track your text it'll um, get bigger and smaller with the scene as well um, it's a really cool tool um, After Effects just has a lot of cool stuff already built into it so you're gonna wanna just do the same thing with the second tracker but to a different point than your original one so I just picked that cause that's another dark point it's like clearly um, apart from the rest of it and before you track it you're gonna wanna hit edit target and make sure tracker is selected the null object that we made earlier um, and so once you've done all that then you just hit play and it'll track the motion um, and it doesn't take very long usually it's probably going a little bit slower because my computer has a lot running but um, yeah this is a really cool thing you could do like I said um, like Buju and, and Cinema 4D are, are 
really good tools and you could do a lot more with them but um, if you don't have them or you don't want to mess around with all the confusing software then you could just use these things that are already built into After Effects. You don't have to download anything special. Um, you don't have to install any plugins or anything. Um, all right. So once that's done, um, you're gonna want to hit Apply and just select X and Y and hit OK. And it brings up all these trackers. And it's a little daunting, but just don't worry about any of that. Um, if you scroll through, you'll see that this red box, the null object, is tracked along with his body pretty perfectly. Um, so then all you're going to want to do, simple, you're just going to want to put your text where you want it. So I want it to be like right, you know, right above his body. It's fine. And then just pick with that to the tracker. And now you can see as I scroll through it, the text is tracked pretty perfectly to his body. Um, it gets a little bit bigger as his body gets bigger. And um, yeah, it just looks really nice. So um, that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Um, that's how you get motion tracked 3D text in After Effects with no added plugins or anything like that. Um, sorry if I was nasally or if I was sniffing in your face the entire time. I'm still sick, like I said. So um, yeah, let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover. Um, leave a comment. Um, I'm not getting very many views on these tutorials as it is, but if you're one of those people that actually are benefiting from them, let me know what you want to see, and I'll be glad to do it for you. Alright, thanks again guys.